Welcome to Mathematics for Standard 4 Pupils. In today's program, we shall talk about multiples and factors. During the program, the radio teacher will be asking questions. Standard 4 Pupils, join the radio pupils in giving your answers. Pupils, have your books and pens ready. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 4 pupils. Our lesson today will be on multiples and factors. Yes, we are going to learn about multiples and factors. Listen now. I am going to give you a multiplication statement. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Write that down in your exercise books. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Now, in our multiplication statement, we have three numbers. 3, 4, and 12. 3 and 4 are called factors. Children say factors. Factors. Good. The number 12 is called the product. Children say product. Product. A product is what you get after multiplying two or more numbers. A product is what you get after multiplying two or more numbers. Now, let us do another exercise. The teacher will write the exercise on the board. Teacher, write the following multiplication statement. 2 times 4 times 5 is equal to 40. 2 times 4 times 5 is equal to 40. I am going to use the numbers in the multiplication statement to ask you questions. When I say the number, you will tell me whether the number is a factor or a product. Ready? The number 4. 4 is a factor. The number 4 in our multiplication statement is a factor. What about the number 5? The number 5 is a factor. Yes, the number 5 is also a factor. What about the number 40? The number 40 is a product. Yes, 40 is a product. When you multiply two factors, you get a product. In fact, when you multiply two, three or more factors, you get a product. When you multiply two, three or more factors, you get a product. In the statement 3 times 4 is equal to 12, 3 is a factor and 4 is a factor. 12 is a product. In the statement 2 times 4 times 5 is equal to 40, 2 is a factor 4 is a factor, 5 is a factor, and 40 is a product. So, if you multiply two or more factors, you get a product. If you multiply three factors, you get a product. Pupils, give three factors of 12 and 60. Tell the answer to your teacher. The three 
factors of 12 are 1, 2 and 6 or 1, 3 and 4. The three factors of 12 are 1, 2 and 6 or 1, 3 and 4. The three factors of 60 are 3, 4 and 5 or 2, 5 and 6. Very good. These are some of the three factors of 12 and 60. Factors give a product. Now, I have two factors. They are 4 and 5. What is the product of 4 and 5? The product of 4 and 5 is 20. Did you say 20? Good. The product of 4 and 5 is 20. 4 and 5 are factors of 20 because 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 and 5 are factors of 20 because 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Yes, 4 and 5 are factors of 20. But 4 and 5 are not the only factors of 20. 20 has other factors. Children, I will give you one factor of 20. Then you will tell me the other factor. 2 is a factor of 20. What is the other factor? The other factor is 10. Yes, 10 is the other factor of 20 because 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 10 is the other factor of 20 because 2 times 10 is equal to 20. One of the pairs is 2 and 10. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. And another pair of 4 times 5 is equal to 20. What is the other pair, children? The other pair is 1 and 20. Yes, 1 and 20 is the other pair because 1 times 20 is equal to 20. Let us now think about all the factors of 20. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Children, listen to me now. I'm going to say some numbers. 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. Listen again. And this time... Tell me the next number when I stop. Three, six, nine, twelve. What is the next number after twelve? The next number after twelve is fifteen. The next number is fifteen. So the numbers are three. 6, 9, 12, 15. Teacher, write the numbers on the board. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now, all the numbers which your teacher has written can be divided by 3 without any remainder. All the numbers which your teacher has written down can be divided by 3 without any remainder. 
3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 and no remainder. 6 divided by 3 is 2 and no remainder. 9 divided by 3 is 3 and no remainder. And 12 divided by 3 is 4 and no remainder. So, 3, 6, 9 and 12 are all divisible by 3 and no remainder. The numbers 3, 6, 9 and 12 are called multiples of 3. Children say multiples of 3. Multiples of 3. Multiple is spelled M U L T I P L E. 3 is a multiple of 3. 6 is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3. 12 is a multiple of 3. 15 is a multiple of 3. Children, is 18 a multiple of 3? Yes. That is right. 18 is a multiple of 3. What is the next multiple of 3 after 18? The next multiple of 3 after 18 is 21. Yes, 21 is the multiple of 3 after 18. Now let us talk about multiples of 2 and multiples of 3. The multiples of 3 are very many. We cannot write all of them down. They are very many. And the multiples of 2 are also very many. We cannot write all of them down. They are very many. Let us write the first three multiples of three. I'll say the first three multiples of three. Then you will write them down as I say them. Ready? Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine are the first three multiples of three. Pupils, write down the first three multiples of two. Ready? Two, four, six. Two, four, six are the first three multiples of two. Look at the multiples of 2 and 3. There is one number which is a multiple of 2 and it's also a multiple of 3. What number is that? The number is 6. That is correct. 6 is a multiple of 2. 6 is also a multiple of 3. 6 is a common multiple of 2 and 3. Yes, 6 is a common multiple of 2 and 3. After this lesson, do the following homework. Your teacher will mark for you. Please, teacher, write the following on the board. 1. What are the first three multiples of 4? 2. Which is the common multiple of 3 and 5? I will repeat the questions. 1. What are the first three multiples of 4? 2. Which is the common multiple of 3 and 5? Your homework will be marked by your teacher before the next lesson. Please, teacher, mark pupils' homework. Now, before we end our lesson... I want you to remember these things. 1. When you multiply two or more factors, 
you get a product. 2. Multiples of a number are divisible by that number. For example, multiples of 2 are divisible by 2. Multiples of 3 are divisible by 3. That was primary mathematics for standard four pupils. In today's program, we discussed multiples and factors. Your presenters were Patricia Kamene, Nancy Wanjiro, and Jafet Okari. Welcome to Mathematics for Standard Four Pupils. In today's program, we shall talk about multiples and factors. During the program, the radio teacher will be asking questions. Standard for pupils, join the radio pupils in giving your answers. Pupils, have your books and pens ready. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 4 pupils, our lesson today will be on multiples and factors. Yes, we are going to learn about multiples and factors. Listen now, I am going to give you a multiplication statement. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Write that down in your exercise books. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Now, in our multiplication statement, we have three numbers. 3, 4, and 12. 3 and 4 are called factors. Children say factors. Factors. Good. The number 12 is called the product. Children say product. Product. A product is what you get after multiplying two or more numbers. A product is what you get after multiplying two or more numbers. Now, let us do another exercise. The teacher will write the exercise on the board. Teacher, write the following multiplication statement. 2 times 4 times 5 is equal to 40. 2 times 4 times 5 is equal to 40. I am going to use the numbers in the multiplication statement to ask you questions. When I say the number, you will tell me whether the number is a factor or a product. Ready? The number 4. 4 is a factor. The number 4 in our multiplication statement is a factor. What about the number 5? The number 5 is a factor. Yes, the number 5 is also a factor. What about the number 40? The number 40 is a product. Yes, 40 is a product. When you multiply two factors, you get a product. In fact, when you multiply two, three or more factors, you get a product. When you multiply two, three or more factors, you get a product. In the statement three times four is equal to 12, three is a factor and four is a factor. 12 is a product. In the statement two times four times five 
is equal to 40. 2 is a factor. 4 is a factor. 5 is a factor. And 40 is a product. So, if you multiply two or more factors, you get a product. If you multiply three factors, you get a product. Pupils, give three factors of 12 and 60. Tell the answer to your teacher. 